Hey, this is Coleo. We're playing Corpse Party. So we finished chapter one. We're going to move on to chapter two. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just going to play it uh, as best I can and try and get the good ending. And afterwards, we'll go through it and do all the other endings. Oh, we did get this extra. I don't know if I should do that now. Maybe. You know, I, yeah, I think I am, actually. We're going to change this up a bit. We're going to do the gentleman's errand. Just because it might have something to do with chapter one. And it might give us more info about chapter two. So we'll do this. I think it's probably just story related. My name is Nana Ogasawara. <laughs> oh, wow. Try that again. My name is Nana Ogasawara. I'm a 7th grader at Musashigawa Girls Middle School. Uh, and I can't help but wonder, why did this happen to us? I was just playing around with some drama club friends and some high school kids after class. When suddenly, everything went white and we found ourselves trapped in here. And by we, I mean me, my friends... Shihaya Yamase from Homeroom and an old friend from another class, Nari Amatoya, whom I've known practically forever. Those two were the only ones in the room with me when I came to. I'm not sure what happened to the others. A rep from another class, Hikari Kirigami, and two high schoolers named Naruse and Kazane were with us before, but are nowhere to be found now. So Chihaya, <laughs> Nari, and I have been wandering these halls aimlessly for quite some time in search of them. Nana. Chihaya, Ch Chihaya, Chihaya, <laughs> another hard one for me, was the first to brave using the bathroom. It even went in alone, but came running out not a moment later, claiming to have heard a scary voice. During her flight, it seems she dropped the pouch she always carries with her, and I've agreed to go in and find it in her place. For goodness sake, Chihaya. Ch Chihaya? Hiya. Damn. <laughs> this is clearly the boys' room. So maybe this is a little more info into the other people. This is definitely not from our class, right? Yeah, that happened to Naomi too. <laughs> Who the heck was that? That was definitely a voice. There's a pink plastic pouch on the ground. Pick it up. Acquired Chihaya's pouch. Chihaya. Nana. Chihaya, I found it, here. Handed over Chihaya's pouch. Yay, thank you. You know though, when you drop something, shouldn't you be the one to go look for it? Nari. I, I'm... The three of us began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Nerusa, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends. We called their names over and over again as we walked. But our forces just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether, and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, uh, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left. For as long as we lived. Wrong end. So I can have wrong endings on this too? What in the world?
We'll try it one more time. I mean, the only choice I had there was to pick up the thing or not, right? Unless there's something else here. So two of them are cloudy, one of them's clear. What if I don't look at that? <laughs> or open the door? What if I just leave? <laughs> Oh, something did change. Nana? Eee! Oh, it's you. Don't scare me like that. Sorry, you've just been in here for a while, so I was getting a little worried. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Thanks, so. Great. I'll stay with Jaya. Then, you sh uh, and you finish what you're doing. But please, if you can, hurry it up. Is it a ghost? Most impressive. You found what you were looking for without searching my stall. People have been barging in on me a lot lately, you see. I've been getting rather uppity with the living for always shamelessly opening the door with reckless abandon, as your comrade did a moment ago. See, I'm quite easily frightened. As it happens, the only place where I feel truly safe and at home is in this restroom stall. It's strange. I can't explain why. But I don't find this person scary at all, even though he's clearly a ghost. The pooping ghost. <laughs> As the spirit sways from side to side, the faint blue light radiating from his body twinkles throughout the room. So is that it? Guess that changes things. So all this is the same as before. There's nothing scary in there. In fact, quite the opposite. There is actually a ghost, but he's friendly and he even talked to me. You serious? Isn't that, like, dangerous? No, it's totally fine. You seem like a really nice person. I don't suppose you'd want to meet him yourselves, would you? I think I would. After all, we've been here for several hours now, and there hasn't been anyone else to talk to in this whole time. Okay. It's really true. He's not scary at all. If I may, I have a favor to ask of you three. Subrog Fiend has absconded with my prized gentleman's set. By which I mean my hat and my glasses. If you should happen upon them in your wanderings, would you be so kind as to return them to me? Uh, sure thing. So your possessions have been stolen then. That's terrible. Wait here, we'll find them. You are too kind. Looks like our noble party of adventurers has accepted a quest. Let's give it everything we've got. Righto! This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Find the gentleman's glasses. Know why they'd be in here, but we'll look. The music is unusually high tempo for this. There's a message scribbled on the wall. Try the stall to the right. One more over. One more over. Too far. Go back one. There's a pair of sunglasses in the stall with star-shaped lenses. 
acquired superstar sunglasses. I think it would be really hard to look good in these. So we're supposed to find his coat too, right? See? That's where uh, Seiko died, right? But she was in the bottom floor. A strange force seems to be repelling you. You cannot progress beyond this point. Maybe I'm supposed to deliver his glasses. Disgusted sigh. The spirit stuck out his lower lip and shook his head quite fervently. Seems he doesn't much care for them. Guess they're not his after all, unsurprisingly. Gonna give me something different? No. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I can get through now. Oh, that's not good. That's a dangerous spirit. I feel like I should avoid it, but ah, eh, whatever. Let's talk to it. Looking for something? I'm sure you won't find it downstairs somewhere, or anywhere. Yeah, that thing's trying to lead me the wrong way, probably. The guy to the west is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. The guy to the south is a liar. You mustn't believe a word he says. Yeah, all of y'all are liars. Okay, I can get through here now. Ooh. That's a dangerous place. The two guys to the north of me are both telling the truth. You should believe everything they say. And you should also return to the third floor right away without exploring anywhere else beforehand. Ah, okay. I feel like they're all lying, right? Okay, let's do this in my head. He's saying that one's a liar. I mean, yeah, that's where the chain started, was with the first one. So he's a liar, that means he's telling the truth. He's a liar, that means he's not lying. Oh my goodness, this is gonna hurt my head. <laughs> this, this isn't that hard, okay, wait. This guy's a liar. He said that that guy was a liar, so he's actually telling the truth. That guy's a liar. He said that this guy's a liar. That means he's actually telling the truth. Right? No, he's actually telling a lie, because it would be backwards. Did I do that right? Screw it. Let's keep searching. <laughs> I feel like they're all liars. Whatever. How do I get this? There we go. There's a pair of distinguished looking glasses sitting on the banister. Take them. A strange force seems to be repelling you. 
Oh, I gotta return my glasses. I'm like really expecting these people to be the ones that uh, I saw dead before. <laughs> my leg really hurts, Nana. Oh my, Chiaya. I think you need to rest for a bit. This is too much for me. The countdown has begun. You better hurry. You have my eternal gratitude. Always, oh, I have always felt that these glasses existed in this world solely to be worn by me. Oh, how I miss them. They look really good on you. I assume they do anyway. It's hard to tell, since he's basically just a blue glow. I guess all that's left now is to find your hat, right? Oh, there's a hat. You are too kind. Okay. Find his hat. I'm doing this again because... I don't know, it seems to be like it would be in the first place you looked the last time. <laughs> Probably not. No. That's where I would have hit him. Because any sensible person would have went downstairs, right? This isn't good, probably. The item you seek is downstairs. Need help finding it? Try talking to the moving spirits. I don't trust the red ones. I'm probably being timed and they're trying to waste my time. Oh, or... Maybe I do have to talk to them. <laughs> oh well. Okay then, let's go talk to the moving spirits. Smarts. Okay, not that one. Warning, your HP is getting low. Oh, no, that's not good. The spirit that started on the bottom right does not have an item you'd want. No touch to pretty key. It's my precious. The spirit is holding a key marked infirmary. Can't get away from him? Yes. That sounds like a bad idea still. The door is locked. You use the infirmary key. I don't know. Seems like the wrong action. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> Aha! It's a hat! There's a felt hat on the ground. It seems to radiate an air of luxury and refinement. Take it. I noticed that the book up there changed. Jaya. I'm tired. I hate this. I want to go home. Jaya, it's okay. We'll get out of here. I know we will. How can you even say that? 
what possible reason could you have for believing that we'll ever be able to get uh, to leave this place? Jaya. Are you saying I can hold you responsible if we never get home again? Jahaya, that's enough. I've had about all I can take from your whining. We're not in the safety of our own familiar little world anymore. People aren't going to bend over backwards to spare your feelings here. We're fighting for survival. It's every girl for herself. So don't think for a minute that we're going to stop and console you every time you have a damsel in distress moment. Just because we're your friends. I like Nari. She's tough. Go ahead and cry. See if I care. Nari, that was totally uncalled for. Not everyone's as strong-willed as you, you know. Fine, do whatever the hell you want, then. I agree, Nari. Ooh, he looks nice. <laughs> you have my thanks once again. I've always cherished this hat, you see. It was specially selected for me by Tanaka, one of my most beloved subordinates. I'm so glad we were able to find it. It seems like it means a lot to you, and it just feels really good to help someone in need. Doesn't it? Yeah. You are truly benevolent souls. My eternal gratitude is yours. You possess such clear eyes and pure hearts. If I still lived, I would use the rest of my days to offer you protection and guidance. I shan't lose these items again. And I should hope that you are not lose that you not lose the generosity you've shown, for this place can quickly and easily crush the spirit. In times like this, especially it is important that you not succumb to despair, not forsake your true nature. Rather, you should scoff in despair's rotund face and embrace who you are. Love yourself. But now, I must bid you adieu. Uh, for my home is calling to me. I pray that you three, as well, will find your way back to your own homes in due time. Fare thee well. I love you. It goes back into the bathroom stall. <laughs> That's great. Well, okay. He's a pretty fun person, huh? Although still apprehensive about our surroundings, we felt slightly better having done a good deed and held our heads high as we exited the bathroom. From there, we began wandering the darkened halls of the abandoned school building once again. Naruse, Kazane, Hikari, our missing friends, we called their names over and over again as we walked. But our voices just seemed to be absorbed by the darkness in front of our faces, where they melted away into nothingness. We knew that eventually those voices would give out altogether, and our bodies would cease to function. It was only a matter of time. But despite that inevitability, we decided then and there that we would keep on walking for as long as it took. We couldn't give up. We had to continue struggling against our fate, calling out into the darkness with whatever voices we had left for as long as we lived. Well, I think that was a good ending. Extra chapter cleared. True end achieved. Congratulations! See you next semester. Cool. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I guess that's sort of like a bonus episode then. We didn't actually get the chapter two. But... We did get to... Oh, cool, it gives us a star. Oh, I see. Each of these has a true end you have to try and get. Okay, well, I'm gonna call that an episode. And then the next one, we'll actually do chapter two. <laughs> All right, later, guys.